Beef neck is a really delicious cut of meat that most people aren't familiar with. I like recipes like this because the ingredients are so simple. Start by searing the beef neck. You always want to do that before you braise or cook something in a crock pot. It'll really enhance the flavor of your meal. You want to sear the entire outside edge of that meat. And the neck is kind of an awkward shape, so you have to hold it in place while you let that flavorful crust form on the outside. When your meat's fully seared, you're ready to go for your onions. I like to saute mine in home rendered lard. It's really delicious and it's actually super healthy for you with all the vitamins and good fats from pasture raised animals. When those onions are nice and soft, add a 16 ounce can of anything amazing. I love these sweet candied jalapeno peppers from our friends at B&G Sweet Heat Peppers, but if you've got like green salsa or something of that nature. It's just easy to throw those in with those onions. Then add sea salt, black pepper, any other seasonings you enjoy. You're ready to put the meat back in the pot and then cover it with water. This whole mixture is gonna go in the oven at 275 for about six hours. If you use a crock pot, that is a totally great method to cook with. Um, Instapot also works too. When it's all cooked up, you're gonna uncover your beef neck roast, pull it out of the pot, the neck meat is gonna come right off the bone. It's just super tender, fall apart delicious. So you remove it from the bones. It's pretty nice. The bones in this cut of meat are actually pretty large. And so there's not gonna be little shards floating around in your meal. It's nice to shred the meat up into smaller bite-sized bits. We like to serve it with a side of rice and then we're sure to take all those wonderful juices and onions and peppers and kind of use them as a topping. You get a lot of servings from this kind of meal. The meat from the beef neck makes great fill for shredded beef sandwiches. And be sure to hang on to the broth that comes off of this. It's gonna gel up and be super nutritious. Don't waste that. I hope you can use this recipe to try out beef neck. We think it's one of the best kept secrets of pasture raised meats and I hope you enjoy it.